My best friend's named Esther. What's this? I can never figure out anything to do with Esther and organic chemistry, though. What's this? Dr. Romano again? Oh, hi, Dr. Romano. Hi, how are you? I have a great idea. Why don't we forget about your friend, Esther, and look at some Esther's in organic chemistry that the dad study group is sure to enjoy. My friend Esther doesn't like chemistry. Well, that's why your friend Esther has no job. Let's get to work. Jeez. I want you to look Not everyone on the blackboard of what I have. I have an ester called methyl propanoate. That in itself is a very important problem, so you make sure you go over the nomenclature on how to name an ester. What I'm going to do is to take this ester and I'm going to heat it up with potassium hydroxide. Or I could do the same thing under acidic conditions and hit it under hot acid. Either way, what I want you to remember is you're going to cut the ester down the middle and you're going to hydrolyze it. And if you do it under basic conditions, you would get the carboxylic salt and you would get, obviously, if you cut it this way, the alcohol. So you got a carboxylic salt and an alcohol. If you did it under acidic conditions, you would get the carboxylic acid and the alcohol. Those two, I think most kids would think is straightforward. So you see an ester, you're going to remember, hydrolyze it. Here's where it gets tricky. Look at letter B. It looks the exact same thing. You say, and I see an ester and I see a base. But what I want you to do is to notice that this group and this group are the same. If you see an ester treated with like sodium ethoxide, sodium methoxide, we call this portion the leaving group. That's the alcohol portion. If the leaving group matches the base, you know it's a clasin. All right, with that in mind, I see you have an ester, you've got the leaving group matching the base, and if you notice, there's two alpha hydrogens. That sets us up for a perfect clasin. What you're going to do is whenever you do a clasin, remember you got two molecules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write both molecules out. So CH3, CH2, COO, CH3, and I write the same thing next to it. Instead of writing CH2, I just write it out so you can see it. What you do is you're going to take the OR group from one side. Let's do it. I'll remove this. And then I remove the alpha proton from the other. All right. I'm going to now take this and I'm going to add it to the alpha position. And that's all there is to it. That's a Clayson condensation reaction. And the groups that came off, the OCH3 and the H, simply went off as the small byproduct. So in a condensation reaction, you're making a larger molecule and you're splitting off a small molecule, usually water or in this case, alcohol. This is a must have. For the dad, if you want to score 25 and beyond, you've got to know how to do a clasin. In the Destroyer book, I also have two other questions called Diekman, which is just an intramolecular clasin. And I'll do a tape on a, a video on a Diekman in the near future. But essentially, it's the same as a clasin, but it's an intramolecular clasin and you're forming a ring. I hope this gives you an idea on how to handle an ester. So you can either hydrolyze it or you do a clasin. These are the two main reactions you want to be careful of under these type of conditions. Okay. Wow, Dr. Amano, that was great. But I want to get a 30, not a 25. If I know this, will I get a 30? No. You still got to know the other stuff. You need some other weapons. Other weapons include things like nomenclature, a little bit on the hybridization, functional groups, orbitals, and most of all, join my dad study group on Facebook. I no longer want to talk to you anymore because my voice is going, so good day to you. Good day. Good day, sir. Bye. Thank you, Dr. Romano. I had another question. Darn. He's fast. Bye.